My name is Pedro Papoto and I'm finishing my PhD in the lab of Professor Bruno Silva Santos here at IMM. During this time, I tried to better understand how our immune system works. And like many immunology labs around the world, here we use different genetically engineered mouse models to answer relevant questions in biology. However, one of the problems with these models is that sometimes we cannot transpose the findings that we have to human settings. And even more, sometimes different labs in different parts of the world cannot reproduce their own findings. This happens because most of the times we overlook the role of environmental factors on genetic features. Among these factors, maternal transfer of immunity plays a very important role in the development of the immune system during early life. And as a matter of fact, here in the lab we work with a population of lymphocytes called gamma delta T cells that are present in different tissues connecting mothers and their babies. So we wonder how the absence of maternal gamma delta T cells may impact on the development of the immune system of the progeny. In order to address this question, we establish readings with mothers having gamma delta T cells or mothers that do not have gamma delta T cells. And then we evaluated the immune system of their pups. Interestingly, we found that pups born from mothers lacking gamma delta T cells, even in the absence of infection, possess an immune system that is more prone to inflammation with more inflammatory cells and inflammatory proteins. Also, during infection, these same pups, they respond with much more inflammation than the pups that were born from mothers with gamma delta T cells. How maternal gamma delta T cells can control this process? What we found is that in the mothers, the absence of these cells changes the microbial composition in their guts and in the skin, the so-called microbiota. And these changes are passed on to their pups. To sum up, the main finding of my PhD thesis is that the maternal immune system, namely gamma delta T cells, can control the composition of maternal microbiota and that this microbiota is passed to the pups, which in turn can educate their immune system. And this is important to draw awareness to the key role of the environmental factor in the development of our immune system, especially during early life. This of course has consequences to human health, but can also help us to better plan our experiments using animals in the lab.